All right, so in my last video that I made about my stream deck setup, I got a lot of questions. How exactly do I set it up? So in this video, I'm going to show you how I did it exactly. The format is going to be I'll flash a question on the screen. I'll show a demonstration and then I'll walk you through how I did it. And there is chapter markers in the description. How to change the audio output. Right, so I'm using a plugin called Sound Deck. You can find it on the uh, Elgato store and you just install it pick this option set audio output and you pick whatever your output is you can rename it and that's pretty much it and you can have a bunch of different ones and the active window when you press it is gonna go to that output pretty simple how to get the audio from PS5 to PC. So this is my PS5. I have an HDMI cord running to an HDMI matrix. And I have an aux cable, this cable right here, running into my line in port on my PC. So if you go to your sound settings and recording tab, find the line in, click properties, uh listen and you want to check the listen to this device button and then pick your gaming uh channel and that's it now they're tied also you can do that with other stuff like go xlr and uh steel series sonar how to set up monitor brightness control Right, so for this, I'm using an app called Control My Monitor. I'll link it below in the description. And once you open the app, uh, it shows you a bunch of different stuff. Uh, just find the brightness from here. So it shows you the maximum value and your current value that you can change. And also the display number, which is very important. So don't mess it up. Uh, then what I did in Stream Deck, I just put an open application thing and what you want to do is copy this but you have to change it so i'll put that in the description below as well uh, but you have to change the display number and you got to change the vcp code according to your monitor uh, also don't don't forget to change the directory your directory might be different so just check it i put mine into the my documents folder how to change the input on monitor. Right, so again, I'm using the same uh, control my monitor app. Instead of brightness, you want to find the input section and pretty much the same thing. Check your values and copy them over. You, you kind of got to play with it a little bit because uh, you don't really know which is which. But after a little fiddling, uh, you should be able to get it. For this one, you want to have a multi-action switch and put your PC into the first slot and your PS5 or whatever console into the second slot. Out to resize windows. Right, so for this, I'm, uh, I'm using the Windows Move and Resizer plugin. You can find that in the Elgato Marketplace. So for this, I have a multi-action and you pretty much just drag in the window 
move thing. You kind of have to place the window that you want to resize uh, to the position that you want it in and then just press get current window coordinates. Like the resizing options and stuff, uh, you can make the window topmost. It's pretty self-explanatory. You'll figure it out. How to get the camera effects. For this I'm using snap camera it has been discontinued but there is a way that you can install it and I will link a video with the instructions down below but the basic chest of it is that you favorite whatever effect you want and then you go to this tab and click here and basically add a keyboard shortcut to activate it and in Stream Deck, you just add a hotkey button and press the same hotkey. If you want to get sounds activated, like I do, then you just have to make a multi-action and include a hotkey and the audio file that you want to play. How to get the Govi lights to work. So yes, there is a plugin. The plugin is called Govi Controller. You can find it on the Elgato Marketplace. Uh, once you have it installed, you can control on off brightness, the colors and color temperature, uh, just like that. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. You have to connect it to your account before you can use it. The instructions will walk you through it. So it's pretty easy to set up. How to have one stream deck change the other stream deck. So this is pretty self-explanatory. I have a profile on my, let's call it number one stream deck that is called Discord. And in my number two stream deck, I have another profile called Discord. You can have the same name. It doesn't matter as long as it's on a different stream deck. Then I set up a multi-action inside the multi-action. You just add a navigation button to switch profile. I have set it to change both Stream Deck 1 and Stream Deck 2 to go to the Discord profile. And once I'm in the Discord profile, then the back arrow is also a multi-action that is set for both Stream Decks to go back to the default profile, which is my home profile. How to record the last 30 seconds. So for this, I'm using Atom Vertical. It's basically a plugin for OBS that allows you to have this vertical canvas on the side. And in this plugin, you can select how many seconds you want to record and you can just set up a hotkey. And in Stream Deck, you just set up a hotkey button. And when you press it, it's going to record the last 30 seconds of the vertical video. And there you have it. I hope I answered everyone's questions. I did also comment back to every, I think almost every single comment that asked for help. But just in case you didn't really grasp it or you want to get some cool ideas or something, I don't really know. I put everything in this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Bye.